wonderful words this morning. Guatsi, Opa, greetings and good morning, everyone. Welcome to the National Museum of the American Indian. Today, we begin the 2024 Smithsonian Folklife Festival. It's an exciting day, and thank you all for being here with us this morning. As mentioned, this is a year of anniversaries for the National Museum of the American Indian. We're celebrating the 30th anniversary of the museum's New York City location, the 25th anniversary of the Cultural Resources Center in Suitland, Maryland, and the 20th anniversary of this museum here on the National Mall. And we can't forget this year is also the 35th anniversary of the legislation that founded the museum, the National Museum of the American Indian Act. This museum is an acknowledgement of the years of activism and advocacy by Native people and others committed to seeing Native and Indigenous people and their cultures, arts, histories, and languages recognized and respected. The museum ensures our visibility as Native people in the narratives about America, which remains a strong commitment of the museum. And what better way to contribute to that visibility than with the Folklife Festival program that showcases the rich diversity and cultural heritage of indigenous people and communities of the Western Hemisphere. We're excited to welcome to our nation's capital the artists, makers, chefs, musicians, dancers, athletes, and storytellers who will be here the next six days. Many have traveled great distances to share their creativity, creativity, knowledge, and expertise through the festival. So please take the time to experience all that the festival has to offer. This program highlights the power of self-representation. It is an opportunity for visitors to hear from and talk with Native and Indigenous people. Throughout the museum's existence, we've understood that the best learning experiences happen when we directly engage with Native and Indigenous people. It's an approach that remains at the heart of the work that we do. And we're thankful that the museum, as part of the Smithsonian Institution, provides a platform to amplify the diversity of Indigenous voices and stories. Speaking of thanks, I must express my deepest gratitude to everyone whose efforts have helped to get us here. This year's program, Indigenous Voices of the Americas, would not have been possible without the support of so many of you, especially our many generous sponsors and donors. Great thanks to the Margaret A. Cargill Philanthropies for their support of the festival and also of the museum, and to Bank of America for their commitment to the Folklife Festival and the Smithsonian. We can't do what we do without you, and we're incredibly grateful for your generosity. And thank you to everyone who has contributed their time, energy, and talents to this year's festival. In particular, I want to name a few individuals that have been truly essential to this year's wonderful program. And you just heard her speak, Sabrina Motley, who's the director of the Folklife Festival. And on the NMAI team, we have Michelle Mananiki, who's the deputy director of the museum. Um, Michelle Delaney, who is associate director for museum research and scholarship. And Sean Turman, who is assistant director for programs. Let's please give them all a great round of applause. And of course, Many thanks to all of the participants who are here in Washington, D.C. to share your expertise, your talents, your creativity, your knowledge with all of us this next six days. We certainly appreciate your time um, here in D.C. and making the trip and, and, and just let's give them all a great round of applause as well. a great festival and I'm just really looking forward to, to everything that we have to see and do and with that I will now turn this over to Kevin Gover, Undersecretary for Museums and Cultures. Thank you. 